Well, customers here are raising safety concerns after this pot shop here on Ossington Avenue was allegedly robbed at gunpoint last night with about two dozen people inside. But police are just now starting to investigate. They began 14 hours after the crime because Canna Clinic did not report it. It was to stop anyone else from doing it again. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's it's just like you know a drug dealer gets robbed in the back laneway. He's not going to call the police to say he got robbed. City News has been in touch with multiple people who claim they were victims of an armed robbery last night here at Canna Clinic on Ossington. Justin, who wanted to keep his face off camera, tells me three to four masked men, at least one with a gun, walked into this pot shop just after 10 p.m. and ordered everyone to the ground. There was a big line and just. Uh, I don't know, maybe mid transaction. Uh, I heard uh, you know, nobody move, everybody freeze, uh, no sudden movements, get down on the ground. Uh, and I immediately thought, oh, oh gosh. Justin claims at least 20 customers were being served and eight staff were working as cashiers as a group of men began clearing the shelves and cash registers. Eventually, they took off out the back door. Shaken by what had just happened, Justin posted this to Facebook this morning when we tried to confirm this happened. As I told you, they did, there was no calls made to police yesterday, last night, this morning, nothing. Police had no calls, no reports, no indication there was a gun robbery here on Ossington last night. And when we confronted Canna Clinic looking for answers, no one would confirm or deny the story. I have spoken to people, multiple people who were here last night uh, when armed gunmen came in and robbed the place and everyone was on the ground. And I'm just wondering why uh, Canna Clinic hasn't reported this to police. I can only speak to what I, what I know and what I've seen and um, okay. that's it. But the place was robbed. I don't have any comment on that at all. The store's manager would not take a phone call. We also made numerous attempts to reach the owner and got no response. Today, another witness posted on Facebook saying your response should be increasing security and safety for everyone involved not to cover up. City News also spoke to a third witness who wanted to remain anonymous for reasons related to his job, frustrated that what he considered to be a gun crime in his community was being ignored. He decided to report it to police. Justin is also making a statement to investigators. Do you find it concerning that police were not called and this armed robbery was not reported? Yes, I do, because now it was, you know, there's no deterrence for them and these people to do it again. And maybe people get hurt. Thankfully, no one got hurt. No one got robbed. Like they were just after the money and the drugs, and that was it. But um, you know, who's to say something goes wrong next time? Uh, now you can see uh, a couple of security cameras outside the storefront. More are inside. We also saw more cameras back in the laneway. And witnesses say that you know they're pretty confident that much of this robbery, if not all of it, and possibly the getaway, would have been caught on video. Their biggest concern is that these gunmen were able to escape and just fly under the radar.